I well, should probably take some time and go out and check out some great restaurants. Yeah, you should. And that's what we're doing today. Uh, if you're craving comfort food, you don't want to ruin your New Year's resolution. We have Amanda telling us about a great Ethiopian joint. And Amanda, this is something that uh, we had never heard of. I know. Well, this place, it's funny. It's simply called African Restaurant. And they do specialize in Ethiopian food, which I had never had before. But apparently it's kind of like Indian or Middle Eastern food where they have a pretty mild basis with spices that give it the flavor and so when you can get a meal for four for under 30 bucks i think it's worth checking out so take a look Yeah. It's food yeah, that's great. that brings people together. Uh, eating alone is rude, actually, in our culture. And interweaves vastly different cultures. Utah never was as, as diverse as it is right now. Rundasa Ishete was born and raised in Ethiopia. During the 90s, he studied economics in the Soviet Union. And that's where he just happened to meet Utah representative Chris Herod. He was my sponsor, actually. And uh, then I went to BYU. After graduating with an MBA, Rudnas invited his siblings here and opened up Africa Restaurant as a means for them all to earn a living. His sister Bulali now heads up the kitchen, using vegetables and beef as a base for exotic flavor. But spices are imported from the uh, eastern part of Africa, which is Ethiopia. And so uh, there are all kinds of spices, probably at least 50, 60 spices. Then there's the bread, made from a flour from Ethiopia called teff which lends method to the messiness. The spongy pancake food is cut in pieces and you dump it into the sauce and then eat it. Uh, we usually eat with our hands so there's no fork or uh, uh, spoon involved in it. The dishes are hearty yet healthy. The spices we put in, in, the, in our food uh, actually makes you not to eat so much food because you feel really full. And therefore, uh, people have the tendency to uh, slim down because of that. Seated in hand-carved stools, surrounded by treasures from East Africa, the experience is truly heartwarming. So it's such a very communal society that that's why we brought that in, so that at least the Americans will be able to see the positive side of our culture. You can stop by this cute renovated warehouse at 1878 South Redwood Road. So tell me, Debbie Casey, are you game to try it? Absolutely. It looks good, Amanda. Thank you so much. That's right. And if you can eat yeah. with your hands, my kids will be at home. <laughs> exactly.